Hey guys, your second favorite PE teacher, Denver. Click like and subscribe right now. We are starting to close in on 1 million subscribers. Unreal for me. Thank you for the support and thank you guys for using code that Denver guy YT. There isn't a ton of you guys using the code, but that's fine. That's okay. I know you guys have a lot of really good choices out there with people to support across the Fortnite community, but huge news with pro players Tifu and High Distortion switching to controller and considering switching to controller. And I'll tell you why this is such huge news in just a second, but it almost makes me want to switch from mouse and keyboard as well so don't miss it and by the way big news fortnite looks to be making a comeback guys i don't know what you all thought on it we were we've been watching the google trends charts for a while it's just been kind of diving down 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 we finally see it recover just a little bit i didn't think we would actually see a recovery besides just like a new season coming out players coming back but hey when epic starts making better decisions like bringing the pump back they start listening to the pros in the community nerfing the drum gun just a tad to counter the spray and pray meta very importantly here not catering as much to the casual players like we've talked about a hundred times then people will want to keep playing your game because every game it needs that skill gap a way to feel accomplished and improve and earn a win instead of getting them easily but yes this is the chart for fortnite over the last 12 months you can see it's starting to pick up it's gradual yes but i think that's a good thing it isn't some big new thing bringing new players back like a new season or something uh we do have to consider though it is summer and maybe more kids are playing now but also the 14 days of summer event where we get an unvaulted gun every day a lot of new skins all the dances every single day it's an exciting time but still if people didn't care about fortnite anymore and wanted to quit i don't think this little event would bring people back so overall i think people are just happier and wanting to play fortnite more so what do you guys think do you feel the same exact way about fortnite unfortunately the youtube searches and interest is still kind of falling off so pray for me bros and us other youtubers <laughs> use code that never guy white say wink wink but pros overall are much happier with the game we haven't seen uh, many complaints from any of them at all trust me i would have told you by now but for real we're actually seeing a Fortnite and Epic Games where everyone just seems happy, at least for now. But hey, guess what? The drum shotgun is here in Fortnite. Get ready because this thing looks insane. Check this out from at Crispy Leaks on what it looks like in game. looks pretty cool and if you're like wait that sounded exactly like the tack shotgun you're right i guess this was just to show off what the drum gun uh the drum shotgun excuse me will look like in game and the leaker couldn't get the real sounds and stuff i guess they weren't in the files yet but to me this thing looks similar to the tactical ar when it's on the ground maybe i need to get my eyes checked i don't know but speaking of new items this is the crab rave emote that epic accidentally leaked on the fortnite twitter page kind of hilarious they put the tweet out they deleted it immediately after but of course once things go on the internet, that's it. And I guess you're, if you're into the crab rave thing still, like I guess some people are, I have seen it around a little bit, uh, then this is the emote that you need. Now something huge, let's finally get to the real news here that's happening with the pros. They're either switching to controllers or at least considering the switch to controller. Tifu is the latest one to talk about this and of course why this is such big news right now. Now watch what happens to him here and what he says about controllers versus mouse and keyboard. You can use that other door probably. Oh my god, no rotate, no! Oh, I hate playing on low okay. sense. This kid's controller died right as he yeah, killed yeah, me too. Look at him, look at him. Bro, honestly, I'm about to just switch the controller. It's just so much better. Like, imagine having, having an editing sensitivity. Like, that would be so Kinda sick. Crazy. Yeah. I'd run such a low sense and a building sense, dude. Dude, imagine having a building sensitivity. It's kind of hard. I've tried controller. It's so rough. Like, I like my actual sense, but, like, dude, my editing sense is so low, dude. I feel like every What's time I'm at their 0.010, 400 DPI. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like every time I'm at the rotator ramp, I have to, like, throw my shoulder <laughs> out of socket, dude. I feel like I tore a rotator cuff. PC doesn't have that? No, nah, PC doesn't have Dude, all we have is a scroll rail to reset. That's it. 
So he put up a really good fight in Paradise Palms against two or three enemies and then died like probably most of us would have done in that situation. But then he says he wants to switch to controller because he thinks it's quote unquote so much better. He said he wishes he had editing sensitivity, which a lot of people have talked about lately because it's so different from building or aiming, just like ADS or the aim down sights is so different from regular aim without zooming in. If it's so different than other sensitivity, should mouse and keyboard players get editing sensitivity? Or is Tfue full of it and mouse and keyboard gets way more and should just let controller players have their thing uh, that can help them still compete? Tifu said PC players, which he means mouse and keyboard or MKB as some people call it, they only get scroll wheel reset, which I'm not going to lie. It's amazing. I never try any new trends or whatever with key binds, but this one was too easy and it's insanely strong. So maybe Epic will keep this editing sense just for controller, which is a really weird way to balance the skill gap between these players and MKB players. And of course, poor mobile players are sitting there thinking, okay, well, what about us? <laughs> anyway, TSM high distortion he actually quit mouse and keyboard for now he moved to an xbox controller and has been absolutely slaying out not only has he been having a lot of fun on his stream and finding a lot of success in his videos his youtube channel is going nuts because i guess people just want to watch the progress and see if it actually is better than mouse and keyboard right now he put on twitter hmm i guess y'all like the controller content and a picture from social blade where he was actually losing subs and getting less than twenty thousand views most days which is good for most people but again this is high distortion he's signed to a huge org tsm and he's pretty famous across fortnite but he slips into some insane views and subs recently with this controller gameplay getting six thousand subs even in one day and almost four hundred thousand views now controller players check this chart out as well this has the setting for a bunch of the popular pros and exactly what they use. Unfortunately, Faceway was left out here, but I'm sure you guys could dig those settings up uh, somewhere. But if you look at the chart, you can see most of the most of the really successful pro players. You can see the averages, um, the highest and lowest. I used to use these uh, these kind of charts in Rocket League all the time. I used to take pretty much the average. So you have some pros who are a lot higher in cents, a lot lower in cents. So if you take the average right in there, should possibly feel like the best sensitivity that you can use for all, everything x and y ads build edit and of course build and edit being the big controversial things that pc players would like as well but if you guys want to save this go ahead and pause the video now and you can just pull this up try these settings yourself you can just type them in uh, close to it or, or similar to it i don't know if you guys can type it in exactly on controller i know pc it's just kind of a a slider and it's real annoying to try to get something specific on this but give these a go and uh and see what you guys think and shout out to i'm not really sure i think it's just save ice on reddit you can see his name here um he put this all together for us so so thanks to him uh for trying this out but again with sensitivity remember it's what feels comfortable in your hands it's not necessarily what feels some comfortable with somebody else like i know you like nick Merckx or something or ghost aiden but it's what feels most comfortable for you so try these out if they don't work then that's fine now something else that's been going on this blew up got a lot of traction on reddit and of course a lot of favorites um, and, and attention on Twitter is from at Beehive God said, I just realized the reason the silenced pistol and the tack hasn't been vaulted is because Fortnite collabed with Nerf to make three guns. What three guns are they? The Scar, the tack, and the silenced pistol. I bet it's in the contract to not remove them. This game is a meme now some people you say what you want about the silence pistol some people love it some people hate it on reddit some people are like yeah it shreds early game and it does i actually kind of like the pistol myself but again this is a very terrible loot pool i think most people would agree this loot pool is one of the worst loot pools we've seen in fortnite uh since the beginning of the game of course we don't have like the burst rifle now which a lot of people hated for a while but the tack shotgun is in a, just a controversial world in itself a lot of people are wondering why this gun is still in the game will the new drum shotgun uh take the tack out of the game well according to beehive here uh that's not going to happen the tack shotgun is going nowhere soon because of this contract with nerf again this is all hypothetical none of this is proven this may not even be true uh the tack i'm hoping it gets out of the game i think a lot of people are just kind of praying like okay drum shotgun in please tack be out of the game so hopefully by the time you're watching this video uh this could be even even one day from now the tack might be gone the silence pistol though i can't see 
see it going anywhere. And if all three of these guns stay in for a long, long period of time, then we can probably come back to this tweet and go, okay, yeah, maybe this was true. But anyways, guys, that is it. That is the news for today. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, almost a million subscribers. I can't even believe that's a, a real thing. Code that Denver guy YT. Like I said, not a lot of people use my code and that's okay. There's so many uh, successful creators and, and content creators out there and streamers um, that are uh, just, I mean, obviously much more talented at the game than me, better creators than me. I totally understand. But if you guys do enjoy these videos and want to see more from me and just want to support me overall in what I'm doing um, on YouTube and out in the world, then uh, definitely use that code. And uh, I appreciate you guys using it. I do have some new creative maps coming out. Uh, just cannot wait to show you guys. I showed them off on stream. If you guys want to check me out, Twitch TV, that Denver guy. Uh, I might be playing Fortnite. I might be playing some other games. I've been experimenting like with uh, Minecraft. I actually have my own server and you guys can join up if you're on the Java version. I believe it's called the PC version uh, just so we can make sure the chat stays clean and things like that. Um, I've been playing Terraria. But anyways, if you guys want to come check out my new maps and stuff, I'll show them off on stream to you. And maybe you can even get a test code. I think I'm going to give my Twitch subscribers like a test code. Just as kind of a thank you to them uh, for supporting me. So anyways, guys, uh, that's about it. I kind of rambled for a long time. Hope you guys have a great day and you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love, Denver.